You know, and a lot of people have that. They're scared. They're scared of, of complications. They're scared of, of failure. Failure is a big one that people are afraid of, but failure is one of the most important things you could ever have as far as, like, the motivation to do things differently. And one of the reasons why I think that I'm good at friendships and relationships is because I've failed at them in the past. One of the things that I'm good at is comedy is because I've bombed on stage. Eighteen years, six thousand five hundred and seventy days. I've always been the obsessive type, the type to put all of my energy towards one singular thing. I began being in love with cars. Then I moved on to the air when I was around seven, obsessing about helicopters and planes, well, toy ones to be exact. There was something about the feeling of being in control and watching something I was controlling fly through the air and occasionally hitting my little brother with it. So when I was around eight, I actually got bored of all the automotive stuff, just as any kid would be, and moved on to loving roller coasters. The exception was that I actually never rode any of the roller coasters. I just loved to watch them. I was pretty scared of the whole heights thing back then. But then something changed. childhood, alongside all of my little hobbies, yo-yo and all those goodies. I played baseball. My dad was a super big influence on me with the sport. I was always chasing his legacy. This kind of started to get to me as I got a little bit older. I always had to stay safe for my next practice and game. So in this period of time, I began to rebel, starting with skimboarding. I thought this was pretty fun, but there really wasn't any rivers or places to go around me that I could just go skimboarding at. So I got a long board. And then a GoPro. And then I quit baseball. Sorry, Dad. I began to fall in love with the feeling of an adrenaline rush and I always wanted to capture what I was doing and share it with my friends. This passion brought me new opportunities, such as going to Hawaii with friends and breaking out of my shell that stopped me from meeting new people. I then joined a class at my high school called Broadcast. I thought nothing of it the day I signed up, but looking back, if I picked that ceramics class over Broadcast, I would have never been the person I am today. From traveling to Los Angeles, to Nashville, Tennessee, and this year, Seattle, the class has given me so much. It has shown me that taking a risk and doing something that scares me can reward you so much. So here's the taking risks in this life. Here's the not letting yourself be scared of what might happen. This life, your life, my life was meant to be lived to its fullest. And if you and I don't take risks, we will go nowhere. So from this day until I die, regardless of where I may live, I will always be a risk taker. The only way to get to where I want to be is if I do. Here's to all the great times I've had being a kid, all the memories I've made, all the lessons I've learned. Here's to all of us living our lives to the fullest. 18 years, 216 months, 
6,570 days, 9,460,800 minutes, 567,648,000 seconds. The time is ticking. Let's go live this life. Cigarette packs, I've been thought I see what's up since I was living in the back of Black Ops, Bad Mar, torn in line.